Okay, so we're back to our discussion, okay? Now, last time we have used this trapon as our example to illustrate the meaning of Kc and Qc, the reaction quotient. And you can see, after we increase our Hi's concentration to 1m, then the Qc will be greater than Kc. That means we have too much product and there is a net backward reaction. Now, at the end of the last lessons, okay, I asked you to answer the following questions. Now, we know that there is net backward reaction and the concentration of Hi will be minus 2x for the change, okay? So what will be the new concentration of each species? And now I show you the calculation here. Now, by using math, okay, we can understand, we can take the square root for the left hand side and right hand side. So, we got this equation, okay, but don't forget there is positive and negative value for the 7.4, okay, so we choose the positive one first, and after calculation, x equals to 0.02a and here shows the new concentration for each species next how about the negative case if the answer is minus 7.4 then we get a minus value for the x okay which is not allowed because the value of x must be positive in this case because we can sure there is net backward reaction already okay so negative value of x is not allowed so we should reject it okay back to our discussion on the Shonian principle last time we used chromate and dichromate as an example okay so what should the what should be the observa observations if we add acid or alkali inside okay now, in our equation, by adding acid, the concentration of H plus increase. The system responds by net. Oh, sorry. By consuming the excess acid, because the system don't want any change. Okay. In order to consume the excess acid, there should be net forward reaction undergoes and the equilibrium position shift to right. Okay, so how about if we add alkali? Okay, if extra sodium hydroxide is added, so what will be the result? The answer is very simple because by neutralization, the hydrogen ion will be consumed so the concentration of H plus decrease the system responds by produce or producing extra H plus okay to compensate the loss okay so a net backward reaction undergoes and the equilibrium position shift to left this is a uh, match with the observations okay if we have acidified potassium dichromate this should be okay equilibrium position shift to right so the result will be we see the orange color so how about the alkali? Why we don't have alkali potassium dichromate is because in alkali condition, the equilibrium position shift to left, and the result is they generate chromate ion as a major, and the result is it appear yellow color. Okay, yellow color, and that's why we don't have alkali potassium dichromate because it will exist as chromate ion. Now, today we are going to discuss what are the factors that can affect the equilibrium position. Now, again, 
affect the equilibrium position. Okay, not Kc's red value. Okay. Now the first one is the change of concentration of each species. Okay. Now, in order to maintain the value of Kc, which is the mole ratio of product to reactant, so if anyone change the concentration of either reactant or product, then the system will respond. Okay, do something to maintain again maintain the value of Kc. So we use PCl5 as our example here. Okay, now. Of course, we have the value of Kc here, right? But as I mentioned, Kc is constant because this is given. The temperature is unchanged. So let's see what will happen, okay? Now, the first one is add more PCL5. So if we add more PCL5, that means the QC, so how QC related to KC this time? More reactant, that means the QC will have smaller value because the denominator will be greater, okay? So the system responds by consume PCL5, okay? So how can the system consume PCL5? Easy, it's net forward. Reaction is okay. And then the result is the equilibrium position will shift to the right. Well, in reverse, how about if we remove some PCL5? Now this time, because reactant is less, so the QC, oh, sorry. So the QC will be greater than Kc because the denominator is smaller this time, okay? So the system will respond by produce extra PCL5, okay? And the result is net backward. Reaction undergoes and the equilibrium position shift to the left, right? So how about a product? This time, what should be done if we add some chlorine? If we add chlorine, then we get more product, extra product, okay? So the QC will be greater than KC. So the system will try to do something to consume extra Cl2 and the net backward reaction undergoes shift to the left. Finally, how about we move some PCL3? PCL3 is at as a product, okay? So the result will be the same. Okay? So you will consume extra PCL3 because According to the Lishonian principle, the system try to minimize the external change. Okay, like this. Okay, this will be the first trap on. Okay, now, uh, extra information which is not included in the um, either DSE or uh, IFY, okay? The reason behind is I recommend you to use both Lishonian principle and reaction quotient actually, okay? Because to be true, okay? Lishonian principle uh, is good, but it have a disadvantage is Lishonian principle is targeted on change one external factor only. Okay, in this case, okay, in this case, so what should be done if um, I double the concentration of TCL5? Oh, easy. 
what should be done if um, I increase or, or triple the, the concentration of choline? Oh, easy. We, we can get the answer immediately by the Shonian principle, right? But what should be what should be the result if we double the concentration of PCL5 and at the same time we triple the concentration of chlorine? So the result will be net forward or backward or remain unchanged. Okay, then the Shonian principle give you nothing. Okay, because we don't know the, the idea. So in this case, the reaction quotient will be a powerful tool okay that's why i insist you must learn the uh, um, reaction quotient okay because if more than one external factor is changed then we should use reaction quotient rather than um, the shonian principle okay so let's see now in this case which of the following sentence is uh, suitable to describe the uh, diagram okay so let's see now uh, try try to interpret this graph by yourself okay at time t suddenly the backward reaction increase sharply okay sharply okay increase sharply means there is a sudden change okay in our case that means the NH3 increase sharply. Now you have um, you have two ideas how the concentration of ammonia increase sharply. The first one may be at X child NH3. The second one may be increased pressure or decrease volume okay but of course in this sentence a b c or d we don't mention anything about the pressure or volume so we just uh, ignore the point two at this moment right so let's see the concentration of uh, as i mentioned we got x try nh3 so the answer should be c okay okay now Maybe you will think about it, okay? In order for the backward reaction increase, then yes, we can first increase the amount of product. But on the other hand, maybe you can think that we can decrease the amount of reactant. Then there will be net for net backward reaction. Yes, your idea is correct. For backward reaction, in major okay we can either increase the product or decrease the reactant but decrease the product in this time is not suitable because decrease the product also decrease the reactant will only reduce the back uh, reduce the forward reaction rate okay it will not increase the backward reaction rate okay this is different story okay for example here if we decrease the concentration of n2 then the forward rate will decrease but it doesn't mean the backward rate increase in fact the backward rate keep constant okay so you should be careful of this, okay? Now, here is another uh, typical example. Okay, the reaction between N2O4 and NO2. Now, they appear different colors, okay? Pale yellow and brown. So, let's see how it works in a syringe, okay? Now, so let's see. Some NO2 is added to the syringe at time T while the volume keep constant the mixture first darken and then lighten okay that means some extra okay why we will first darken and then lighten okay now this one is 
omitted by most students. Okay, they for they they understand because ah、uh, yeah here shows because extra NO two added. So the equilibrium position shift to left, and the result is lighter in color. Ah、uh, yes, this is most typical example. Okay, but this is not enough. Okay, because there is one step missing. The reason behind is. Why first is darken? Sorry, your green sentence haven't mentioned anything. Okay, has haven't mentioned anything. The reason behind is after extra NO two is added. Okay, you cannot deny that yes, the NO two concentration increase and results darken in color. First, okay, this is this should be the first step. Then the equilibrium position will shift, okay? Because as I mentioned last time, equilibrium undergoes. Well, sorry, we need time for the equilibrium position to to ah、uh, shift and wait for the new equilibrium achieve, okay? So again, what I want to say is, don't forget the yellow. The highlight sentence, okay. Most student can write down the later one, but not the first one. They cannot interpret why the color is ah、uh, first darken. Now you understand this because immediately after you add extra NO two, yes, the concentration will increase, which will darken the color. Then it takes time to lighten. Okay, so yes, let's back to our discussion. It is then lighten because equilibrium system responds by reduce. Okay, the extra NO two is added. A net backward reaction occurs, and your equilibrium shift to left, which reduce the concentration of NO two. Okay. Okay, so this is the first um. This this is the first sentence I want to uh uh or first situation or condition that can affect the equilibrium position. Okay, so um. Yeah, I will I will try to record more. Okay, because uh today is a bit uh difficult because I have some extra work to do. Okay, so for your homework. Okay, for your homework, the we end. Uh, please uh finish. The past paper. Ah,、uh, okay. Page one to four first. Okay, and please hand in 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 how about ah? Please hand in 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 next Tuesday. Okay, please hand in in next Tuesday. Okay. So if any problem, feel free to ask me, and I will take ah.、Uh, I think I'll take one more video. Okay, soon. So please stay tuned. 拜拜。